Hello everyone. Right now we are at Sapsa Sajja village. It's an artisan village. These artisans majorly focus on uh, making crafts out of dokra. When we came down in 2019, we started involving uh, and incorporating some rocks into the motifs which actually reduced their production process which came out nice. We had some user interaction with our products and uh, in the course of two years these guys have produced uh, designs with the design of 2019 and they've sold in the market. So right now I come with a aim of uh, making another product. It's a hairpin that I'm making right now. So I've set some parameters and I hope uh, the design comes out well. So Dokra especially we saw in a market in a very artistic approach and it have a good uh, skill requirement for uh, doing this thing. So I am making a product that can be also uh, useful. I put some utility into that so it can reach a good market in a modern era. I make candle stands uh, for the hotels and lamp for the restaurants. Then I make a oil dispenser for the kitchen. Coming to Sapta Sajja 2021 was uh, a different uh, experience altogether. Staying with the artisans, learning from them, telling our experiences, how they can be more relevant with the market. So these are various uh, small yet very important elements which these artists uh, uh, need to understand uh, with the changing time. The way the craft has moved throughout these years and the, the vast history which the craft have, it, it's so uh, amazing and sometimes it's very overwhelming also to know how this craft has come up so far yet uh, they are struggling for their existence. I'm from this area so which is Saptasajya and uh, my family has always uh, lived here. I have seen the Dhokra artists of Sadevarini you know, ever since I was a child and it has always been a very fascinating experience for me. Uh, the one thing that used to bother me is that, you know, they kept doing the same designs over and over again. They did do a little bit of change and tweaking, um, but then I thought maybe if we can get some young, bright designers to come and work with them, they could look at interesting new designs that uh, would be more conducive to, you know, everyday use as well as for modern audiences and from Dhokra uh, we've gone into other crafts of Orissa like applique work like weaving bamboo grass work um, so the second edition of Saptasajya festival is actually got um, nine different uh, groups that are working with uh, very bright nine designers and uh, we're hoping to come up with some really interesting designs uh, that can then become commercially viable over a period of time And when I was invited to curate this festival, then I charted out districts of Odisha and the craft forms which are practiced there. And then I thought it would be nice if we can bring Dhinkana's traditional crafts and then we add it from other places. So this year also we have uh, four craft forms from Dhinkana and of course the districts like Raigara, Katak, um, Mayurbhanj. This is our first time uh, in Saptasajya Design Festival and uh, we're really excited to work to develop new products and uh, the material that we've been given is bamboo so we're really excited to experiment with different techniques of bamboo. It's a great platform wherein the artisans are willing to experiment and explore and uh, create products which are more adaptable to the market wherein we have seen the current product that they are making. It's a very uh, decorative approach that they have. And our idea with the product is to bring in more utility and aesthetics to it and also educate them about more end use of the product where it is not restrictive to only household segments. It can be picked commercially as well for uh, the different industry, maybe hotel or you know, uh, travel, travel industry. Sapta Sajja Festival Day Eta Moro Dutya Barsa. In the last edition, I had worked on silver filigree. So I wanted to create something for a younger generation. 
and uh, that's why I created buckles and uh, uh, phone ring holders and stuff like that. A borsa mu sabai grass artisans ko sangre kamo korte. ये जो सबाई ग्रास आर्टिसन तंगे मोर कम कर पर्सनाली कम कर देढ़ वर्ष हो गला एंड आई हाव बीन मेकिंग होम डेकोर प्रडक्ट्स विथ दैम सप्तशा फेस्टिवल रे भी मु मो लेबल रो कि प्रडक्ट्स डिस्प्ले करी कि छड़ा ये जो कम टाइम कर आई विल बी डिस्प्लेंग दैट अल्सो मुझे यूटिलिटी प्रडक्ट्स बनाऊँगी एंड अल्सो सम डेकोरेटिव पीसेस ट्राइंग टू मेक स्मलर स्ट्रक्चर्स सबाई ग्रास जोटा लोक इजिली एक्सेबल हो पार एंड पीपल वुड लाइक टू बाय आई केम हियर इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वर्क विद दैम दैट वॉज माई फर्स्ट एक्सपीरियंस आई वॉज वर्किंग विथ सिल्वर फिलेगरी आर्टिशन their technique and craft is very intricate and i've learned how silver filigree and uh, the technique of their jal and their uh, bending of the metal works and uh, they use those techniques traditionally after learning i could uh, also see that there were, there are possibilities where uh, they can use the same techniques to create much better modern work and uh, i have been trying to integrate th- their technique and skill In new products, it can give a very uh, different dimension altogether. I want to say that Bhartman no market ko nahi ki. Jodi ki Bhartman sida introduce kara hai nahi through the applic. Ame sida ko introduction kariyo. Jaha jodi ki amu amu manong ko paingi bhi better hobo, se manong ko paingi. So it's a combination of artisan and or designer. So creative mind tangko pakar bhi achi. Aur ame tangko to bahu sara kisi sikhi ka kena kora tangko ro. बहुत है बहुत वर्ष रू से कम कर बापा कर जेजे बापा करूँ समस्ते पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी से चली आस बर्तमान जो वर्कर्स मान सा कम करें बिलंगस कर पिपिली प्लस ढेकाना This is my second time in Saptasuja Festival. Last time we did a couple of uh, utensils, as you can see displayed in the background. This time around we are looking at uh, doing similar things. Uh, the attention is uh, driven more towards how uh, we can uh, elaborate the scope of the bell metal products that are going into the market and my expertise is working with form structure and shape uh, this time around we are looking at uh, developing more promising structures more stable and more contemporary designs me as a designer i have uh, spent my 5 years in odisha with uh, the artists and arti crafts in shapta saja second edition working with karamul jewelry and the karamul artisans and it had been a really you know a roller coaster journey with them because first there was a language barrier i had i'm not an odia and the emotions between us the explanation of a designing between us made it so easy for me and the artisans to understand each other actually next year we hope to take it forward uh, we want to bring in merchandisers we want to bring in uh, you know architects other groups interested parties who can actually take these designs and start using them uh, in large commercial or even uh, you know uh, retail projects